Good morning, folks. It's April 9, 2020. I'm on Lake of the Ozarks. I'm up uh, the Osage River uh, ways, and I'm going to do a little crappie fishing today. I'm going to do some one poling uh, using the live scope, see if I can chase down a few crappie. It's uh, 45 degrees this morning, air temperature. It's about 7.30 in the morning. The water temperature here is 60.8 degrees, so uh, it's time for these fish to start uh, thinking about moving up and spawning. I think some of the bigger females will still be out in the deeper water, not on the bank yet. I'm going to see if I can target a few of those fish today, so stay with me. There he is. Oh, I'll put it right on him. He hit it. All right, first fish. That's a nice little fish. That'd be a good keeper. I'm not keeping any fish today. Just going to try to catch a few. All right, let's see if we can get another one. This fish is in about 10 foot of water. Just kind of scanning around looking with my live scope and then if I find something that looks like it'd be catchable of a decent size, then I'll try to put a jig on it. Now you see this fish right here? I'm gonna see if I can ease up and lower my jig. Okay, there goes my jig down. Oh, there's another fish below it. Oh, and he got it. That little one came up from underneath the one I was targeting and hit it. Sometimes that happens. Little little fish sometimes are more aggressive and they'll come running in there. What do you want is a bigger image and a fish that's just sitting stationary that you can kind of get up on and drop a jig down on. If they're real spooky, they get within a certain range and then they just disappear on you. Those are small fish. Bigger fish down there toward the bottom. Let's see if can get it to bite. Got it. Uh, may have to target these deeper fish. That's not a bad little fish if you were keeping some. I have my camera up here sitting right on the live scope, so I'm kind of looking around it to see the screen myself. Big water fish. Just don't see the quality of fish I'd like to see. There's a fish. See if we can get it to bite. Yep, there he is. They all look alike. All good little keepers, but... I'd like to catch a little better fish than that. measure these fish just see what they are well that fish is ten and three quarters 
So like I say, not tournament fish by any means, but if you're wanting to catch a mess of fish to eat, it'd be a good eating fish. Okay, I'll show you what I'm using for a bait right now. It's just a Bobby Garland minnow minder in a love bug color. That head is a head, a jig head I poured myself. It's a 3 16th disco orange color with a, a number two owner hook. I like those hooks. I like the weight of this uh, head. It's, it's been working for me. I've been over on Truman. Caught a lot of fish on that combination lately. See that fish spook when that jig hit the water? And one right down below me. Let's see if we can catch that. Oh, got him. Get it on them. They're all the same. Another small little fish. That was really small. You gotta find some better fish. I'm just out here in open water, kind of along the channel, getting closer to the channel that runs right along that bank right there. There will be a little deeper water over there. We'll go over there and see if we can find some better fish. May have to run more toward the back of the cove, see if they're moving in. Look, there's a bunch of brush piles back here. A lot of fish out here, just not the ones I want. Let's drop down, see if we can catch this fish right down here. Here's my jig. Oh, fish disappeared on me. Where'd he go? And he moved over here a little bit. Let's see if we can drop down. There you go. Uh, he's gone. All right, there's my little higher. Right there, see my jig come up and the fish right under it? Come on. That looks like a little better fish. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's a little better fish there. That's a little fish. Measure it. 11 inches on the nose. All right. Oh, I don't know. That's several fish together, I think. Oh, look at that. Just holding that, looking at my scope, got my jig in the water, going along. Man, if we were spider rigging today, I think we just, we couldn't keep up. Another one. Another eater. Not seeing those big footballs or pie plates that you want to look for. Couple fish down low down here. Let's see if I can pick them up again. No, disappear. Fish right there. See if we can catch that one. Got, oh man, I had him. Yeah, that looks like a better fish there and down there too, but I, the question is, will they spook before they get in range? I 
are getting there. There's one up kind of high. Now they're breaking up. See if we can catch up to him. He's going away from me. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. I got past him. Let's see if I can bring my jig back to him. There we go. There we go. Come on. There he is. Yeah, that's a little better fish. All right. That plan worked. A little better fish. Again, not a monster, but 11 inches. He's fat, tall, big fat belly. I don't know if we can stay on him or not, but that looks like a better fish right there. If we can get him in range. Oh, and there he goes. There's no. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish. I think he might have come back and got it. Now we're talking. That's a little better fish right there. Let's see. Yeah, that's 12 and a half inches long. Will a 12 and a half inch fish, what will it weigh? I'm going to guess about 0.9. Oh, I was wrong. 105. Nice fish. Ooh. Now there looks like a good fish. If we can stay on that fish and he doesn't spook. He's a little outside our range, but he's getting closer. No one right down below him. All right, drop my jig down. See if we can ease up on him. Just a little bit. Oh, we're going to catch that fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he hit it. He's still there. No, nope, there he goes. Gosh, dang it. Man, he hit that jig. How come he didn't get it? There's one swimming toward the front of the boat, see if he'll come to the jig. Come on. There you go, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He turned and looked at it. Come on. You're right. Oh! Man, they are not taking it. What is going on here? I may have to put a nibble on. I think it's still him. I don't know. Nibble might make him suck it in a little better. Ooh, there's a good fish right out in front of us out there about 20 feet. Swimming away from us. Decent fish. See if we can stay on him. It's coming in. Coming in. Drop the jig down. Uh, where'd he go? Spooked. 
So you spooked. I touched that trolling motor to turn that head, and that fish was gone. I should have kept my foot off of it. But he was getting a little out of the picture, so I just wanted to turn the transducer on him. I should just held my jig there and let him bite it. Oh man, they are just hit. They were good. I got a little, uh, they're dirty. Got a little uh, homemade jig I made last night. Just want to see if I can get them to fight it. I'll tell you a little bit about my rod I'm using today. It's a B&M uh, Sam's Super Sensitive, a 12 foot rod. I've had this rod for five or six years. I bought it for the first time. I was going down to Grenada Lake for my first Grenada Lake trip. We hired a guide. We were actually wading and fishing and he said bring a 12 foot rod. And I bought this and we caught so many fish and, and horsed some big fish in with this and I've had this rod ever since. I love it. It's sensitive. It's It's got a good backbone. Um, it's just a great rod. I've got it, and I've got an 11-foot uh, rod, just like it, a Sam Super Sensitive, but in an 11-foot version, I'm getting ready to pick up with this homemade jig on it. Both of these, I have a uh, loose bait casting reel. I like a bait casting reel now. I've been using this for the last few trips. Instead of a spinning reel, I don't think I'll ever go back to a spinning reel. I like the bait caster. This is a Mark Rose reel. Uh, they're inexpensive, but boy, it's a great uh, reel. Turn the uh, drag way down so you can just pull the line out and feed it that way. Um, I really like this setup. And the line I'm using is uh, spider wire uh, Invisalign. I think it's 15 pound uh, Invisalign. It's very, very sensitive. This water clarity here is, is off color for Lake the Ozarks. There's only about eight inches of visibility. You drop that jig down about eight inches, it's gone. So this line is great uh, for this, this water and it's very sensitive. And uh, so that's kind of my setup. Let me pick up this, uh, we'll see if this little uh, hair jig I tied last night will catch them. Uh, I don't know if it will or not. Don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, Got a chartreuse head. I put some eyes on it. Uh, blue and chartreuse feathers in it. Got a little uh, yellow flash in it. Let's see if we can get a bite. Well, there's a decent fish. That looks like a decent fish if I can get on him. See if he'll bite my little hair jig. Come on. Got him. Yeah, he ate my hair jig. Well, he looked bigger than that on the screen. I love tying these little jigs and then having a fish actually eat it. Not very big, but he's a little ten and a half incher probably. Let's see. Yep, ten and three quarters maybe. All right. Okay, there's a lot of fish up here, but I'm just not seeing the quality of fish I want to see. Let's uh, let's move on in the cove and get in some shallower water around some brush, see if we can find a bigger fish. There he is. Uh, there's one in the shallower water. On the old homemade jig. Boy, he swallowed it too. I must have done a pretty good job on this jig because he ate it. I mean, way down there. Another nice little eater. Alright, come on. My jig's down there. There's fish there. There he is. Not very big. They look bigger in this shallow water. They're image is bigger Whew. okay folks I quit I give that winds picked up 
blowing right down this chute. I've got things I have to do back home. A uh, little quick trip this morning, caught a few fish, nothing spectacular, but hopefully you learned a little bit how I use the live scope. Those guys that are really proficient at it uh, hopefully will comment and give us all some tips on what I'm doing wrong or what I should be doing, but I can catch a few fish doing it. It's fun, I'll tell you. Um, I'm kind of addicted to drop that jig down, watch it on the screen, and then feel that thump. But uh, thanks for being with me. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button. You know the drill. Thanks for being with me.